Imagine yourself in the tight grasp of a deadly predator. You see your life flash before your eyes. But with a quick yank, your limb pops off in the predator's mouth, and you make a break for freedom. You've escaped certain death through a horrible trade. If you watch the survival drama 127 hours based on the true story of hiker Aaron Ralston, who amputates his arm to free himself from a fallen boulder then you might have asked yourself, how far would I go to escape a death-dealing situation? As it turns out, this extreme tactic of self-amputation has evolved many times across the animal kingdom. Shedding an appendage can help captured animals by distracting predators and allowing the animal to flee. The scientific term for self-amputation is known as autotomy. Unlike humans, who could easily bleed to death if they lost a limb in the wild, for some animals sacrificing an appendage can be less damaging than trying to recover from an injury. These injuries also heal quickly within 24 to 48 hours, and the chances of infection are minimal, and blood loss is negligible. More than 200 animals have the unique ability to autotomize, but it's not always to get out of hot water. Before moving into the video, if you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for future updates. So let's find out which are the animals that self-amputate for their survival. 1. African Spiny Mouse When captured by predators, these tiny rodents can shed their skin from their hides and heal those same wounds with extraordinary speed. The mice have stiff hairs on their backs that act like a hedgehog's spines as the first line of defense. But if they are caught, they struggle vigorously and quickly lose strips of skin. It's a dramatic strategy. A spiny mouse would take only three days to cover a wound with new skin completely. It is the only mammal that can autotomize. 2. Starfish The starfish, or sea star, may be one of the most beautiful creatures in the ocean. Sea stars aren't a type of fish, but they are related to sand dollars, sea urchins, and sea cucumbers, all of which are echinoderms, meaning that they have five-point radial symmetry. They do not have gills, scales, or fins. Sea stars live only in salt water. Autotomy is understood to serve a defensive function in starfish. While predators can pull arms off the starfish body, the starfish can choose to shed its arm to evade danger. As long as the lost limb is not damaged and has at least some of the central disc area, it can develop into a second starfish. If the detached limb is eaten or highly damaged, bidirectional regeneration is not possible. At the same time, the original starfish will also be able to grow a new leg. The whole process can take up to a year or more. Starfish are one of the few animals in the world capable of not only regenerating lost limbs, but also growing entirely new bodies. 3. Lizard Many species of lizards are incredible in their ability to self-amputate their tail when a predator encounters them. Lizards are born with a line of weakness in their tail, technically called a fracture plane. If a point on the tail is hit or stressed, the muscles along the fracture plane pull away from one another rather than knitting together, this is known as a reflex muscle spasm. The pulling apart of the muscles causes the tail to fall off along the line of weakness. Lizard tail autotomy has developed to prevent blood loss when the tail breaks and the tail regrows over six months to a year. The tail skeleton is replaced by a rod of cartilage with new muscles growing along with it, producing a replacement tail that is usually shorter and less colored compared with the original. 4. Sea Slug Chromodorus reticulata is a type of sea slug found in Indo-Pacific waters. It looks like a red and white baby slipper, with two tentacles on its head, and a flowery set of gills on its backside. It also has the world's only known example of a disposable penis, which snaps off every time it finishes mating. But don't worry. It's got spares up to two backup penises coiled away within its body. Once all three segments are spent, the penis will eventually grow back, but doesn't know how long that will take. Some species of Sacaglossan sea slugs are capable of severing their heads from their bodies and then growing an entirely new body, including a heart and other internal organs. 5. Squid Squid are cephalopods in the superorder Decapodiformes with elongated bodies, large eyes, eight arms, and two tentacles. They are mainly soft-bodied, like octopuses, but have a tiny internal skeleton in the form of a rod-like gladius or pen. 
The squid jettisons its body parts to confuse and distract a predator. They may also break their arms when they attack preys. The breaks can happen at different points along the arm, but they always need some tension. Either the squid has to grab something, or something has to grab it. The arms can grow back, but it takes a while to do so. 6. Spiders Spiders are air-breathing arthropods that have eight legs. Orb-weaving spiders undergo autotomy if they are stung in the legs by wasps or bees. When spiders lose legs, they typically lose them at predetermined breakpoints, usually at a joint close to the body. These points have particular muscles which clamp shut to ensure the spider doesn't lose too much blood. However, what happens if the leg is amputated before the breakpoint? Well, the spider ends up losing a lot more blood before they're able to eject the leg. When a spider loses too much blood, it has trouble moving and even cause death. In spiders, autotomy can also play a role in mating. In some other species, a male attracts a female spider by shedding off a limb and gives it to a prospective mate to eat. Some species breaks off their penises and plugs the female's genital opening. This helps the male avoid sexual cannibalism, and if escape succeeds, the male guards his female from competitors. 7. Salamanders Salamanders are a type of amphibian typically characterized by a lizard-like appearance, they have moist skin, and are usually found in damp habitats near or in water. After losing them, they can grow back their appendages and organs, such as the heart and eyes. The salamander's exceptional comeback from injury has been known for more than a century, and scientists have unraveled some of its secrets. It seals the amputation site with a particular type of skin called wound epithelium, then builds a bit of tissue called the blastema, which sprouts the new body part. A blastema is a unique structure in biology, even kind of hard to describe. Many have considered this similar to a tumor. It's a mass of cells that continues to grow, and it forms some sort of ball of proliferative, or dividing, cells. But it's nothing like a tumor in many other ways because that blastema has all of the information needed to recreate that organ. A new organ essentially sprouts from the blastema. Really fascinating. 8. Crabs. Crabs are famous for sacrificing claws if attacked by a predator, which they will then regrow. Indeed, they are willing to lose several of their limbs if necessary to avoid capture. After the limb is ripped off, a membrane quickly closes the wound where the limb was attached, and this membrane becomes the capsule of the new limb bud, which holds the new appendage during regeneration. It will take two or three successive molts for the limb to return to its standard size. 9. Scorpion. Anantera species of the scorpion on the defensive might break off its tail to escape sacrificing its stinger and even its anus as a result. The stump heals quickly, but the discarded bits never grow back, leaving the survivor unable to poop or inject venom into its prey. They still reflexively try to whack their targets with the stumps, but their efforts are useless without the deadly sting. They are reduced to catching small prey with their pincers. Despite these problems, the tailless scorpions can survive for around 8 months. That's plenty of time in which to find mates and reproduce. 10. Lobster Lobsters can amputate their claws and legs to escape danger. A lobster can drop its claw as a way to release itself from a predator's grasp or to distract them. Lobsters can regenerate some of their body parts, such as claws, walking legs, and antennae. A lost leg is slowly regenerated through successive molts of the lobster's exoskeleton. The cells near the damaged area will begin to divide and grow a new appendage. It takes several months to regenerate a large limb completely, such as a claw in an adult lobster. If the lobster is young and growing quickly, regeneration will take less time. Thanks for watching. If you like this video then a sub will be amazing. If you enjoyed this video don't forget to like it and share it with your friends and family.